What is up, y'all? I'm back on that motherfucking monkey hype train, nigga. Hype. Hype pipe, nigga. Smoking on that hype pipe. I'm back on it, baby. Couldn't stay away for too long. It's calling me back every time I try to leave. Something keeps pulling me back, me back, telling me I need you in my life, Moggy. Calling me back, baby. So, um, yeah, Moggy, 237, man. <sighs> These niggas is living on the ground. Like some fucking hermits. No, hermits don't live on the ground. Uh, like fucking mole people. They living on the ground because Al Darman and fucking Il Ila, you know, they done fucked up the planet to where it's going to take that, what is it, a thousand years for that shit, for it to be turned, start to turn back to normal. So, Ali, not Alibaba, but he did look like Alibaba just shot the, um, Ugo was like, let's, you know, we can go on the ground and, um, try to figure this shit out, man, because, Cause, shit, man, I don't know what the fuck to do, man. Solomon them and she ain't here. All my friends is gone. What the fuck am I supposed to do now? So, so he got everybody down there, and everybody just, you know, after a while, even though they had the fucking the gins and the metal guns we uses, you know, making all this shit, giving them water and shit, but you know, it still wasn't enough. You know, food was starting to get scarce and shit, man. Niggas wanted to go outside. They been on the ground. I'm tired of looking at dirt above me, man. Why am I living like a worm? I mean, I understand. I mean, I, even though these people get on my nerves, man. Because they quick to go like, uh, they quick to turn negative, man. Like, oh, uh, why, why this and why that? And just like have faith in my man Ugo, man. He trying to work something out. You know, you know, be patient, man. But I, I can understand because I wouldn't want to stay down in a fucking basement for the rest of my life, man. Because they, they spent five years down there throughout this whole chapter. They spent five years on that shit, man. I don't know how, but only, uh, I guess, man. I'd be ready to... Shit, I would have slapped shit out of Ugo, too, man. I'm trying to get out of that bitch. But, um, anyway. Um, cursing a lot, ain't I? Um, shit. Everybody was, you know, distraught and shit, man. They worried, they worried about the future, man. Is we gonna have to stay down here forever, man? I'm tired of, I'm tired of this shit. But Ugo, you know, got a bright idea to, had the bright idea to bring out Aladdin and let the people see, you know, Solomon's child, Solomon's proxy, his avatar, to to pump them back up, you know, to get raise their spirits because they was down. It was like we don't even have a a common ruler now. So how's we going to keep ourselves from fighting? How's we going to stop conflict, you know, when there's nobody to watch over us, you know, because I, I, I guess, I guess that's, is that really how people is? I don't, I don't see why I know persons, nobody stepped up, but I don't know, because they, I guess, because nobody really had enough power to step up, so I guess they were like, oh, we need somebody to rule over us, man, we need a king, because, you know. We're not used to not fighting while we don't have somebody watching us all the fucking time. So, I don't know. I don't know. These people are weird. But anyway, um, he brought out Aladdin and everybody was, you know, even though they was down about Solomon's death, you know, they cheered them back up, you know. Aladdin, my future king, you know, my king, well... Well, he's not, he's not the king right now, but yeah, my future king, you know. Everybody started talking to him and looking at him and getting all oh, happy and shit, man. Bringing their spirits back. The root was starting to, you know, turn white again. Well, it's always been white, but, you know, it was, the root was white. It was glowing. Everybody was smiling. All the gins was, you know, looking at Aladdin. I was looking at Paimon Teddies. I mean, this is a great chapter, man. Anytime you get any chapter where Paimon's titties is when they when her titties are there, this is always a great chapter. But you but you know, there was some other stuff in there too, but uh yeah man. And after um you know, Aladdin I mean, uh not Aladdin, Ugo showing Aladdin around, he decided to to finally uh create the new world five years later because 
some strange shit. I mean, not strange shit. I mean, all the you know all their resources was uh fucking depleted. I guess. So he's uh trying to. He's about to uh ship all of them from Alma Tehran. Is it Alma Tehran? Alma Tehran? Oh, Alma 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 to the uh, new world where they live at right now, to where Aladdin and live at right now. So uh, I'm trying to figure out how the fuck is Al Thorman gonna come back? I mean, is this is it people that's there with Al Thorman? You know, that's in a little group in the basement with uh, Ugo now. That's that, uh, or are they gonna catch Ugo slipping and you know, you know, root their way in, work their way into the root when he creating the new world. So they can be reborn in the new world. I don't know because one of them was a Magi. Uh, fucking what's she? She not she Arba. Arba was a fucking Magi, wasn't she? And uh, so I'm pretty sure she'll be able to work her way. Even though Aladdin, not Aladdin, Solomon, uh, has sealed both El Eli and Al Tharman. She probably, cause she they able to manipulate my uh the Rook, the Magi able to manipulate ba ba. The fuck, man? The Magi able to manipulate the uh, control the Rook, you know, to you know to do what they to do whatever they want and shit. So she might be the seed that plants, you know, the the uh, Il Ila fucking Rook inside the fucking um, world that Ugo create, so that uh, the shit could spread around and grow. But uh, yeah, man, that was about it in this chapter. Paimon's titties, um, Ugo. Showing everybody uh, Aladdin, and we seeing how uh can't wait to see how the new world gets created in the next chapter. She came out on Friday. Damn, I gotta go wash clothes. But uh yeah, <sighs> Maggie, I'm back on the hype train of Maggie because man, I don't know what took me so fucking long to catch up to it, man. I don't know, you know, life. No, I can't even say life, man. Nigga just been lazy. But yeah, uh yeah. Peace out, y'all. Maggie, I'm loving it. I'm back on it. Like a cowboy back on a horse when he got the, um, nothing. You know. Shit, I'm back, nigga.